lot of the, I guess, left-leaning or liberal stuff to go through unchecked? It can come through check, and then I'll be like, oh, you know what, this is okay, let it go. You made the comment that, you know, Twitter maybe wouldn't, you know, verbally say some things that they, you know, wanted to put in their company policy, but they were kind of unwritten rules as far as the content that they would allow or disallow. Very, a lot of unwritten rules, and being that we're in San Francisco, we're in California, very little state, very blue state, you have to be, I mean, as a company, you can't really say it because it'll make you look bad, but... Behind closed doors, a lot of stuff was like, hey, you have to do this this way, or something like that. It was never written, it was more said. One strategy is to shadow ban so that you have ultimate control. The idea of a shadow ban is that you ban someone, but they don't know they've been banned because they keep posting, but no one sees their content. You just sort of turn off all of the features for them. So, like, they still see everything, it's all there. You can like it, you can favorite it, or you can like retweet or whatever. But uh, at the end of the day, no one else interacts with your, no one else sees what you're doing. So uh, all that data is just thrown away. Uh, it's risky though. Why is it risky? Because people will figure that shit out and be like, <laughs> uh, you know, it's a lot of bad press if, if like, you know, people figure out that you're shadow banning them, it's like unethical in, in some way. You know, um, so I don't know. Um. Let's go to a random tweet and um, like just look at the followers. Yeah. It'll all be like guns, God, America, like yeah. and with the American flag and like the cross. Yeah, no one really yeah. America. No. Like well, who says that? Who talks like that? It's, it's for sure a bot. Can you look for Trump or America and you have like 5,000 like keywords to describe a redneck and then you look and you like parse all the messages, all like the pictures and then you look for like stuff that matches like that stuff. Can you get rid of them? Um, yeah. Like how do you do that? You just leave them but like the problem is there are hundreds of thousands of them so you've got to like write algorithms that do it for you.